Hi, my name's Sarah, and I'm part of the life science team here. Today I'm asking the question, what is the greenhouse effect? The process gets its name from greenhouses, which stay lovely and warm in order for plants to grow in them. Now, in order to understand how greenhouses work, we need to think in terms of light. We think of light in terms of visible light, but there are other kinds of light that your eyes can't see. And this altogether is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, different wavelengths of light have different properties. We can demonstrate these properties using these two screens. If I stand behind this transparent screen, the visible light can get through and back to your eyes so you can see me. But if I move behind this screen, which is opaque to visible light, you can't see me. However, if we switch to infrared vision, you can see me. This is because my body is emitting heat in the form of infrared. This screen is transparent to infrared light, which means it can pass through and to our special thermal camera, which can give you an image of me. If I move back behind this screen, which is opaque to infrared light, you can't see me anymore. So what's all of this got to do with the Earth? Well, the Earth's atmosphere is made of layers of gases, which act like the glass of a giant spherical greenhouse. 30% of the light from the sun is reflected by the atmosphere back out into space, but 70% gets through to be absorbed by the land. This is then re-emitted as heat in the form of infrared light, like we've seen, which can't pass back through the atmosphere as easily. So the heat is contained and we're kept nice and warm. If the concentrations of some of these gases in the atmosphere changes, it can influence the greenhouse effect. Two such gases are methane and carbon dioxide. I've got some carbon dioxide here, which has been frozen in the form of dry ice. We can turn this carbon dioxide back into a gas by adding some hot water. So our container is now full of carbon dioxide gas. And we've waited until it's reached room temperature. So if we switch back to the thermal camera, we can see that the infrared light I'm emitting can't get through. So the greenhouse effect is really important. It keeps our planet nice and warm. Without it, we'd be much colder, more like planet Mars. But by adding more greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide and methane, to the atmosphere, more heat is trapped, thus changing the climate. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more science every week, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.